<laughs> Honey Heart C. Hello, mini fans. We are going to have so much fun today. Check it out. <gasps> Look at this. Look at all of these briars. So this is the 2018 briar haul video. I am so excited to check out all of these models. As you guys know, if you guys watched my news video, whenever I found out about these newest, newest models for the brand new year, I like freaked out. I screamed. I couldn't even believe it. And now they're here. So we are going to check them out together for the very, very first impressions. You're going to see me unbox them and talk about them and all of their different features. First, we're going to start with two little foals here in the front. This is Milo and Shadow. Now, I really like this line that Briar does with these little foals. These are supposed to be two little best friends. They're super duper cute. It's a traditional size foal that comes along with a very colorful blanket and a charm bracelet for you to wear as well. You can check out the back of the packaging. Oh, which couldn't be any cuter. They've got these pictures of all these little foals. Oh, look at those big ears. And it says friendship is forever. A foal is a young horse or pony that is one year or younger in age. So let's check out these two young foals. They are just so cute. So these two are best friends. We can see both of their little charm bracelets right here. So they both have the same little briar horseshoe charm dangling from each one of them. But of course, Milo comes with the blue braided bracelet and Shadow comes with the green braided bracelet. It kind of looks like leather, but it's not real leather. Now, I am so happy to see a draft horse in this collection. This is really, really cute. And she's got a super duper colorful little floral blanket. And Milo's got this awesome polka dot blanket on. Let's take the blanket off. There we go. So you can see that she's this jet black color with some really high up stockings. And of course, just the sweetest little face ever. I even did a little bit of some shading around her muzzle. And of course, her hooves are lightly shaded. Take off his blanket. Oh, he's a little Appaloosa. So we can see that little pattern that he has on him. Two white little socks and a large little running star on his forehead. So these guys are just extra adorable. I just, I love these. I love them. I love them. And I hope Briar keeps continuing making more of these charm bracelet folds. Oh, so cute. All right, what else do we have? Ooh, let's check out this one. Ooh, this is easy to spot. So this one is based off of a real horse. We can see him right here with his rider. And it says that his flashy leopard coat inspired his show name. As a previous owner said, he'd be easy to spot in the field. So let's have him jump right out of the box. Woo, here he is. Now that is a gorgeous, gorgeous model. I pretty much love everything about this model. I'm so so happy that they used the long mane version of this gorgeous, gorgeous jumping pony. Look at his little face with the way that they have all of the little spots on him. He has a lot of details around his face. So he's got a big, big spot kind of going off to the right side. And look at all of those different little leopard Appaloosa spotting that they put on him. Very cool. He definitely has a lot of detail to his coat. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of like cookies and cream. And of course he has a little stand that you can just put on. There you go. So it makes it a little bit easier to display him. So he is a gorgeous model. I, I definitely was super excited whenever I heard about him. So I'm really happy with him. <gasps> okay, you guys, I like, I wanted to cry whenever I saw this model. This Shannon Dell mold is one of my favorite, favorite molds from Briar. I am in love with this one. So here we have a brand new Shire. Now he is part of the Best of British collection. On the back of the package, they have a whole bunch of information about Shire horses. Here we have a beauty on the back and whoop, We've got a map right here that points to where he is from, England. Ooh, check out this information. It says a Shire stands at 19.2 hands high and can weigh over 2,000 pounds. That is massive. It's like double the weight of treat. So of course, as soon as I saw this one, I knew absolutely, yes, I had to find him in here. Yep, he's absolutely gorgeous. They did some incredible shading to achieve this very light gray coloring. Look at how thick his feet feathers are. They are really, 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 really full. Look at this giant horse hoof as well. I mean, it's like bigger than my thumb. And they even detail the bottom of his hooves. He's got golden blue braiding on the top of his mane and a matching ribbon on his tail. Now, of course, with this mold in general, he doesn't stand all that well, so he could kind of tip over. Woo! So you do have to be careful when you display him because he's kind of tiptoeing very lightly on his hooves here. You can see this hoof doesn't even touch the ground. It's completely floating there. Now he has very subtle dapples on his neck, on his lower shoulder, on his stomach, and on his hind quarters. Oh, look at how flowy his mane is on this side, how they did like a couple little streak marks. 
Woo! Oh no. So he is gorgeous. I'm happy to see him out. So this is the first time he's been available as a regular release. He's only been available as a Briarfest model last year and in the Premier Club. So I'm so, so, so excited. So I'm probably going to customize one of these because he's, he's just so pretty. Absolutely amazing. Oh, he would look beautiful in all black, wouldn't he? Ah! All right, what are we checking out next? Oh, these are the horse and rider sets. Let's go riding Western and English. So it's pretty cool because you get a traditional size model you get a rider and you get some tack. Yeah, let's ride. All right, let's check out these two riders. I am pretty impressed with these sets. These are absolutely adorable. I have a feeling these two girls are best friends. She loves doing Western riding with her gorgeous Palomino, and she loves, loves English riding with her beautiful Pinto sport horse. So let's have these girls hop off their horses for a second so we can check them out. Woo, in more detail. Now the Western rider looks like she is ready for a show. She's got on a really, really nicely detailed shirt that has these really cool little feathers. And there's just a little tiny touch of glitter. She has a velvety soft black cowgirl hat on. Her brown hair is pulled back into a ponytail. She also has velvety soft black pants and some black boots on. Now the English rider, she's got honey colored blonde hair, a velvety black riding hat, a white long sleeve shirt, some really cool colored green pants on, and some very dark brown riding boots. And what's cool about these is that they are super poseable. So of course they can bend their legs, they can swing on over their horses, can lift their arms to the side, or up and down, at the elbow, at the wrist. So they are really, really poseable for any poses. Come on, boy. So let's check out the horses. This Pinto Sport horse has a really gorgeous pattern. I love this big, giant patch of white. You can kind of see how that colored over to the side of the horse here. He has these really tight braids in his mane, beautiful coloring on his tail, and a super sweet face. Now, I'm pretty excited about this Western horse just because I just, I love the pose. I love more of a draft horse. So this one, I believe, is on the Frisian mold, but he's in a gorgeous Palomino color with an incredibly long, long, long mane. He's just absolutely gorgeous. That coloring is just so rich. He's got three white socks and one darker color hoof. You can't really tell what his face marking is because he has this long piece of forelock right in the front. So we can also get them all tacked up. So on the sport horse, we can put down this fake sheepskin saddle pad and the English saddle, which is really cool. They did some really cool details. It's really soft. It's kind of like a velvety texture. Here they have the little leg pads. Even though it is a very, very flat saddle, it still manages, manages to capture a lot, a lot of details from an English saddle. Oh, the irons are metal though. And they say briar underneath. So put the saddle on and his bridle. Just go ahead and put this right over his nose and over his ears. You can tighten it by just pulling on the little belt strap there. All right, he's ready to ride. Now on the Palomino, we have this gorgeous turquoise saddle pad. Here's the Western saddle. Has a little metal detail for the horse. Soft and velvety on the seat. Here we have the little stirrups. Throw that right on. Here we have his western bridle. We can put that on and loop it on over. It goes over one ear. He also has the split rope reins. So now he's also ready to ride. Yes, let's go. Woo! What's really cool is that each one of these riding sets also came with these full color posters. So let's see this one. Ooh, the color of horses. And on the back, they describe all these different colors, like Appaloosa, black, chestnut, and pinto. They talk about eye color, face markings, and hoof colors. And the other poster, oh, isn't that nice? They show you how to make a whole bunch of different horse accessories. And here they have a whole bunch of information about the world of Briar. So these are the traditional size models for this haul. Now let's jump into the world of stable mates. So I got these four stable mate packages. So with these three sets, you get four horses per pack. Let's check out the first two packs. Oh, these ones are wild horses. This is the wild at heart set and the dapples and dots. Let's open this up. So here we have all four of them. So let's start with this one, who's probably my favorite one out of these four. This is the red chestnut Pinto. I really like the mold and I love how they created a little Pinto design on him with this big patch of white on both sides of him. He's got a really big white marking on his face. They gave him some pretty nice highlights in his mane and on his tail. That just kind of makes it a little bit different than the rest of his body color. So there he is. Next favorite probably is this one. 
They're calling this color the liver chestnut roan quarter horse. She's got a snip on her nose. I love the color. I love the roaning detail. You can just see a little bit of these little frosted psh, psh, little spots that they put on her just to create that roaning effect. It's very, very, very delicate. So she's pretty cool. I love this color. I feel like these are just very nice. Let's check out him. This is the Gorula Quarter Horse. Love the little striping on the legs. And of course, he has a little dorsal stripe going all the way down to his tail. And the last horse in this pack is the Palomino Mustang. Now he looks really wild as he's like in this running pose. Buttery, creamy Palomino coloring. I think this mold looks really good in this Palomino color. They look really fresh and new in these colors. I think Briar has done a really good job just making really current colors and just, it, I'm just, I was really excited about this set when I first saw it, but I'm probably even more excited about the Dapples and Dots horses. Oh, look at all of that coloring. There's so much speckling going on. Oh, it's so hard for me to pick my favorite out of these because I love them all. Let's just start with the newest mold in here, this one. Ooh, oh, look at that coloring. So he is the Dappled Bay Warm Blood. It's really, really cool. I love how they just create this pattern on them with all of that really cool like splash detail. So of course I think this mold looks ooh, just absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning. Now we'll check out this one right here, the Arabian. Dappled Gray Arabian has that same kind of splashy detail just like the warm blood. And these are gonna vary so much too. Again, which is why another reason why I love these because this horse that I have, even if I got another pack of these, it will look so different than this one. Really, really cool pattern. Loving that white mane and tail. Now let's check out this Palomino Leopard Appaloosa. Look at that, come on you guys. Doesn't he just look amazing? That coloring, the color and all of the spots, the shading, everything is pretty much perfection on this horse. Look at his face up close. He is super, super cute. And then the last out of the dots and dapples is this chestnut blanket Appaloosa. Really rich chestnut coloring. And then she's got that beautiful blanket spotted pattern on her back and on her hind quarters. So she is really adorable as well. Oh, it almost looks like a little heart that she has on her face. Now we're gonna check out this pack. You guys look at, it says glow in the dark collection. They look like just normal stable mates, but they glow in the dark so they're extra special. Uh-oh, one of them fell out. Okay, let's check out this one. Oh my, look at that. So pretty, this black Pinto Icelandic horse. Love the mold, love the coloring, love the pattern that they did on here. Okay, but of course I wanna see him glow. Oh, look at that glow in the dark. Look at how amazing he looks, whoa. Loving these glow in the dark stable mates. So, such a cool horse. All right, let's check out this one. Look at that long tail. This is the Chestnut Pinto Morgan. Another beauty. Look at that mane. I love that, how the white just kind of goes right in there. Very, very, very nice. All right, let's see him glow in the dark. Okay, that is cool. Whoa. This one, you can almost see the horse's regular body color. Look at that. Now we'll check out the warm blood. This is the Bay Pinto. Oh, he's really gonna glow. Look at all of that white patches that he has on him. Everywhere that he's white, he's gonna glow, glow, glow. Whoa, there we go. There we glow, there we glow. Do you see that? Look at all of that white patches all lit up. Wow. And then here is the Palomino Pinto Quarter Horse. It's on a newer stablemate mold that I do really, really love. It's got a really cool little braided mane. But this is the first time I've actually noticed how detailed her mane is. Can you guys see that too? You can see each individual bundle that is braided. So she also has a lovely coat pattern. Okay, let's see her glow. Wow, okay, amazing. This one really lights up. It's like the whole entire horse is glowing, not just the white patches. Whoa! Okay, totally just the coolest briars ever, right? Look at that. Wow, here they all four are glowing together. Isn't that just absolutely amazing? My question is, can it ah, can it get any better than that glow in the dark? And the answer is yes. Yes, it can, mini fans. Oh, because stable mates can be translucent for the sun catcher stable mate set. Yes, I am so happy to see this. These 
Pigs are translucent stable mates, but now you get to decide what they look like. You get to add the color in. So this is a set that I am totally gonna be doing on video probably really soon because I cannot wait to paint these. I have to paint them like immediately. They're like the coolest, the coolest ever. This is the coolest idea. So I'm so happy Briar decided to create this. So yes, super excited. I mean, let's just check it out because I'm just too excited. We'll open this up. We'll just look at one of them. Just one of them, please, just one. Okay, here we go. We'll just take one out. So here we go. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything more gorgeous? It looks like it's made out of crystal or like water. So completely translucent and you get to add in the color. So I'm definitely gonna be doing a DIY video on these. So make sure you are subscribed because you do not wanna miss this video. Oh, so can it get any better than that? Actually, yes, it can. Whenever we move into classics, check this one out right here. Oh, a rainbow unicorn. This is Skylar, the magical unicorn. And I am just, I just, I can't believe it. It's just so beautiful. They give a little information on the back about Skylar that he's a young unicorn with a rainbow mane and tail and he hails from the frosty northern climates where the aurora borealis begins. Woo! Okay, everything about this model is a yes. Okay, let's see here. It's rainbowy, it's pearly, it's pink, it's fantasy, it's a unicorn, it has glitter. You just have everything going on here on this model that I am just in love with. Check out that glittery rainbowy mane. Here is his tail. Here's his silvery hooves and that gorgeous pearly coat color. Look at his little sweet face. Even his horn has glitter on it. You guys, I'm telling you, this is like the best year for Briars ever. So I am absolutely in love with this model. Totally in love with him. Now, if you want to create your own unicorn horses, ooh, I also found this, my dream horse, where you can actually paint your own dream horse. Now, these are really cool because they have the sweetest looking little faces and they have brushable manes and tails. So I love that. So it's a completely blank horse that you get to paint any color you want. So this is going to be another DIY video. Do not miss that at all. And the last horse for this Briar Hall video is going to be this one. This classic size 2018 horse of the year. Now this is a brand new sculpture that they made just for this model. So this is the first time it's ever been released. So of course I had to check out this model. So say hello to Mason. It says he's exclusively available in 2018. So here he is, a gorgeous American saddlebred horse in that beautiful gray color. I think Briar is just getting better and better and better. If you ask me, I think he is a stunner. Oh, they even gave him tricolored eyes. He's got a little bit of brown, black, and white in his eye. He's beautifully shaded. Love the little white on his tail tip. He's got one white sock. He's pretty much perfect too. I love him. This is a great new sculpture. And this gray color just suits him perfectly. Look at those cute little ears. All right, you guys. So we've now checked out traditional size, classic, stable mates, and of course some DIYs that are gonna be coming up soon. So it's gonna be a great year for Briar. I still have some other horses from the 2018 lineup on my wish list. So hopefully I can do a video about them very, very soon. Thank you so much for joining me in this review video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. You guys know I absolutely love hearing from you. Glow on and shine bright. Nothing can dim your light. And I will see you amazing mini fans in my next video. Bye, mini fans. Mini fans, I can't remember which one of these stable mates glows in the dark. Is it the Appaloosa, the Pinto, the Dapple Gray, or the Palomino? The mini fans.